just hatched another uh, combination video photography scheme that I want to do. I, want, I, I was looking at, a, uh, at the portfolio of a photographer from Australia whom I admire, and I found this. Well, I have the models, the props, the camera. I'm almost ready to go. What I don't have is the proper materials. You know the the the, uh, the fabric needed for such a shot, but I have a possible answer. This building, this office complex building here, called Trendy, is the home of the Thai Silk Queen, who, as per chance, is one of my yoga students. Now I haven't seen her since I shut the studio down in March 2020. But I do know she's still around. I see her Facebook post. And she has, well, given her name, the Thai's Silk Queen. If she has anything, she has fabric. Let's go see what she's got going on. So yeah, I'm finding this exciting. This is the first step in my project of uh, creating kind of a high fashion modeling photo shoot. And I'm taking you guys along with me. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. So my next chore on this project is to get myself a proper light. I'm building up my kit here, my photography kit. So this is the light that I think I want to buy. It's a Godox uh, 150 watt LED light. And, uh, but I'm not gonna buy it online. Although I, I may come back and buy it online, depends upon the delivery options the in-person store gives me. But I'm gonna go Check out Fortune Town. On Dindang Road, just a short walk from uh, uh, Ramanine Road, a very busy intersection, you will find the Central Plaza Shopping Mall. And directly across the street from said shopping mall is a friendly motorcycle taxi guy and Fortune Town, a shopping mall full of electronic gizmos, gadgets, photography stuff, computer stuff, and a Starbucks. I think I'm gonna go get me a cup of coffee and then go look for some photographic toys, big boy toys. Well, I do kind of need them if I wanna get a little bit professional here, which I do wanna do. So the inside of the Fortune Town is filled with electronics goods. Uh, little shops, big shops, in between shops. You can get hard to find stuff here. Like I just bought a pair of uh, uh, earbuds for an iPhone 6 in, in this shop. And, you know, that, that'd be something that'd be generally hard to find. I, that's from a phone I bought for Boa Cow five years ago. Bless her frugal little heart, she's still using it. And now we're walking into a, a photography section where I found some, uh, some good stuff for myself. So what I did with the lights that I'm about to purchase is I, I, I first figured out what lights I wanted to buy. Then I went online and found out how much they would cost if I got them from Lasada. That's like the uh, Amazon of, uh, of Bangkok. And I got a general idea of the prices and then I came here. You have to be willing to shop around a bit because it's not automatic that you're going to get a bargain here. It's, you know, a small retail place. They have to shop. You know, the first three places I went to, I could have got a better deal just ordering it online and it would be delivered. And then I encountered this place. And I got some good stuff here. So this is a DigiLife photo lighting solutions. And what I'm purchasing is, oh, I took it down already, a Godox 150 LED light plus a, a smaller uh, fill light, this baby, and it's also battery operated. I could use it outdoors. Plus, I got a small stand and and a large stand like this baby here, and and I got a Godox softbox with two filters, all for sixteen thousand baht, which is actually a very good deal. Now I have the. Uh, challenge of getting it all home. 
So I guess the drawback is I have to lug these bags all home, but it's doable. Get them in a taxi cab won't be a big deal. And I had the pleasure of doing business with a local merchant who was very helpful and gave me a nice discount. So, uh, cop and cop. I would do an unboxing video, but that would be a very long extravaganza. So I think maybe we'll just do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so most people went on buying sprees uh, during the lockdown stuff. Uh, I, I, I might have overdone it. But yeah, I bought all of this uh, photography stuff. And uh, yeah, a little bit later, we're going to be... Uh, doing what I hope to be, a, a very uh, artistic photo shoot. Now, I'm not claiming to be like Leonardo da Vinci, painting the Sistine Chapel or anything like that, but a fair amount of work did go into the planning and, uh, and putting together of this, this uh, photography session, photo shoot. And that's a good thing because, you know, it, it takes a little bit of effort and creativity to, 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 to make something worthwhile. It gives me something to do. But yeah, it's not, uh, it's not something you can really clap your hands and make happen. It does take a little bit of work, too. <laughs> Models preparing. Pretty... Miss Pear.